Hey guys, Flickfy here, and today I have a great tip that I'd like to share with you that was recommended to me by a subscriber, and this tip is gonna allow you to bypass the usual resetting of your budget that occurs at the start of every new season. So, say for example you sell a big player and you don't end up spending all that cash that you received, this tip's gonna allow you to save that cash and use it next season if you wanna save up for a big name player, and I think this is gonna come Really in handy for a lot of you that don't want to use the financial takeover option. A lot of YouTubers hate using that, myself included. So if any YouTubers watch this, maybe implement this in your own series. And of course, if you're watching from home, you can implement this in your own career mode. So let's get into the specifics and I'll show you how to use this trick. As you can see, I've jumped ahead all the way to June 2015. So I've played all my matches for this season. And now what you're going to want to do is go over to your transfers tab and change your budget allocation so that all of your budget goes toward your wages. And you can do that by easily sliding it over. I'm just gonna go ahead and do one to 99 so we have a little bit of a transfer budget and then accept that allocation. And now you're gonna wanna go over to office and then contracts. And here's the very important part of the tip. You're gonna wanna choose a player that is notable enough that another club is gonna bid on him. So don't choose some youth academy player that no other club's gonna want. For this example, I am going to use Clark because he's a player that I think another team's gonna wanna bid on. So meet his length requirements, and then for his wages, just trust me here, you're gonna bump it all the way up to whatever's remaining in your wage budget. I believe it goes all the way up to right around 900,000 a week. So for our example, we're gonna use 540,000. I know this seems insane right now, guys, but trust me, it does work, and you're not gonna actually be paying that amount week after week. So go ahead and do that, and offer him the contract. And no surprise, Kieran Clark has accepted our contract offer, so that step of the process is all finished. What I would recommend doing is saving now before you jump ahead to next season, just in case the trick doesn't work. But now you're just going to save and jump ahead to the new season. Now that you're in a new season, find the player which you offered the immense amount of wages. As you can see, we've got Kieran Clark here. His wages per week is 540000 and put him on the transfer list. Now jump ahead a couple of days to the transfer window, and hopefully a club will offer a bid for the player. And before we accept the transfer offer, I want to show you guys our current budget. We have $8 million in the transfer budget and 40000 in the wage budget. We'll go ahead and check out the offer we've received. And it is for Kieran Clark, and it's going to be from Spurs. I would recommend just accepting the offer. Don't try to negotiate a counter offer or anything like that. Just accept the offer and then submit that. Now wait a couple of days until it goes through and wait until you see the results. All right, we've now received confirmation that Kieran Clark has been sold to Spurs. And now we're going to move over to our budget allocation. And as you can see, we have the 580000 in the wage budget. You can change that now. And look at this, we have all that in our transfer budget from last season to use this season. Of course, you can adjust it accordingly so you have enough in your wages. But overall, guys, this allows you to save the money that you saved up last season and use it this season for a big name player. Hope you guys have enjoyed this tip. And if you guys want me to share any tidbits of information that I have about FIFA 15 career mode, let me know down in the comment section below. Or if you have any tips that you like to use, also let me know down in the comment section below. But guys, if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel. And until next video, this has been Flakify. I'll be talking to you all again soon.